Hello all. Today let's discuss about payment terms in Odoo 50. Payment terms are mostly used to ensure that customers pay their invoices correctly on right time. So this term specify all the conditions under which a sale is paid. So this can be applied on sale orders. So when you open sales, you can see sale orders, quotations. So you can apply this payment terms on sale orders. You can see there is a free payment terms. You can choose inside your quotation and it can be applied on invoices, bills, vendor bills, contacts. So these terms automatically calculates the payment due dates. And it is particularly helpful in the case of uh, management of installment. So this installment is really helpful for the customers because they can pay the invoice as parts. So you can configure this payment terms from accounting module. So when you open that under configuration, here you can find a menu payment terms. Just open that. Here you can find some pre-configured payment terms like immediate payment. That is uh, this immediate payment. Make sure that the payment is done immediately. Then uh, payment term 15 days. That is payment need to be done within 15 days. Then two months. And end of month. Then here we can find a payment term where it allows a customer to only pay 30 percentage of the amount now and the balance can be paid after some days or months. So this payment terms is really flexible. So let's create a new payment term. And here you can provide the name of the payment term like 40 percentage now balance after 20 days. And here we can provide the description on the invoice. So this is a text that is displayed on the document that can be an invoice or sale order. And here we can just type a forward slash. So you can see some commands that is just for formatting the text. You can make use of that. Then after providing the description here below, you can see the terms. That is, you can add a set of rules to define what needs to be paid and by which due date. So you can click on add a line to add a new term. So already we have a balance term added with no value set. So before that, let me add another term that is percent. So here we have three term type, like it can be balance, percent or fixed amount. So here we can specify the percentage or fixed amount. So as I have selected percentage to provide the percentage, like I have set it as 40 percentage. Then you can also set the due date computation. That is when the payment need to be done. So it can be done after the invoice date or after end of the end of the invoice month or of the following month or of the current month. So let me edit the balance here. I can change the due days. So I'm setting it as 20 days after the invoice date. And this balance term need to be uh, added below this percentage. So this balance must be added as a last term. So let me add a description. Forty percentage of the amount need to be 
paid now and balance within 20 days. Now let's save this. So you can set this payment terms on your customers or vendors. So when you open customer, here on the sales and purchase tab, you have the option to set the payment term for your sales. So you can search more and find all the payment terms. So let me set this 40 percentage now and balance 20 days for this customer. Now let me save this and when you go to sales and create a new quotation, when you choose a customer, you can see automatically that payment terms is added here. And if you wish to change that, you can uh, choose it from here, choose from the available options. And here we can choose a product and confirm the quotation. You can also set this payment term. Uh, that is, you can set specific payment terms on an invoice. So let me validate the delivery. After that, when I create invoice, here we have a draft invoice and you can view the due date as 40 percentage now and balance amount later. So you can change it from here. Like I have changed to 30 percentage now and balance 60 days. Now we can confirm it. Now we can register the payment. So this spot it is a 30 percentage of the total amount. Then payment is created. So I can see it is in payment. So after reconciliation, this will be moved to paid state. So that's all about payment terms in order 15. And if you have any doubts regarding this video, please add your comments below.